All right, this is a reading for the collective. Getting ready to do the collective here. Here we go. Oh, we're coming up on that the damn eclipse that we keep talking about on the 26th. I tell you what, it's some powerful stuff. The, uh, the energy's right now. For those of us that, that read and feel energy, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong stuff here. I'll tell you what. Now, it's a reading for the collective. It's all signs. Anybody. Anybody out there. Yeah, this title resonates with it's for you uh, it's a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you but if the title brought you in here I promise you you're here for a reason and there's a lot going on with the energy right now we can see it before I cut the deck here at the bottom we got the high priestess that's powerful energy a lot of it's going on behind the scenes well, it's still a little bit of quiet but I gotta tell you it's quiet but it's strong it's like silent noise you know it's something something like that some oxymoron that don't even make no sense all right oh well there's my shuffle yeah uh all right collective your person's energy whoever i'm reading for here and if this title brought you in it's you ten of wands with some your person you are heavy on your person's mind i could feel that heavy on their mind big time thinking about you wow right here's the it's really strong energy it's like wow I feel like i just had some whiskey all right right here is the uh energy around your connection this is how your person feels and their emotions how they feel about you right here hidden energies which you don't know which you're about to find out from me and the final outcome I'm going to clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. You bet your ass we're going to extend this one because it's strong. Between the High Priestess and the Ten of Wands, Jesus, I feel anchored in my chair here. Uh, the link for the extended will be in the description. Do some voodoo in there. But first, let's find out what we need to do some voodoo on. Let's see what the hell is going on here. Why is this? Um, man, it's like 8.30 in the morning here and I'm doing a reading. This is crazy. Right here. Energy around your connection. Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. I, it's always a reason, you know? There's always a reason. 8.30 in the morning and I'm doing a reading. Here we go. It's the world. It's the most powerful card in the Major Arcana. Don't let anyone tell you differently. I'm so sad that the world fell out of favor. People pull the world card out there on, on, in tarot land here on YouTube. And they're like, oh, it's the world. Like, the, like, oh, and you got the world. And here's the world. No, man, it's like, here's the freaking world. It's right here. It's the universe cards. The end of the Major Arcana. It's, the, it's a cycle ending, a new cycle beginning. That's the energy over this whole connection. The most powerful card in the deck is the damn energy. That's why I'm here at 8.30 in the freaking morning pulling a reading. <sighs> Jesus. I don't, Jesus, I, I don't even know if this if Jesus could beat the world. I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to see that battle. Wow. No, that's a... Uh, I don't know. We got to know more. What's the... I don't even know how to read. There's so much coming off it. I could tell you... I could talk for an hour just the energy coming off that card. I, I'll sort it out. But right now, let's, let's move on. Uh, uh, the energy around how your person feels in their emotions. You know, four of Pentacles. That's what that is. That's what that is. This is fear. This is they don't want to lose you. They want to hold on to you. And this is someone who's holding back out of fear. Uh, it's a card of the miser. Misers are always fearful, afraid they're going to lose something. People who want to hang on to things are afraid they're going to lose it. This person's afraid they're going to lose you, but there's also fear here with this whole thing. It's a very powerful connection. I suspect there's five or six signs in the zodiac, and you know who you are. And this reading is definitely pertaining to you, uh, for sure, in particular. But this is anyone who's this title brought you in here, I'll tell you what, because this is a powerful card. This tells me with the world card falling here, one of the things around this energy tells me it's for everyone. I mean, there is no, I can't single out a sign and say, well, it's mostly for blah, blah, blah. No, this is, uh, everyone's around this energy. This is the universe. It's the card that represents the damn universe. The end of a cycle. This person's really he's sitting in fear. This is going to need to be clarified. This is a very difficult reading. So much energy here. So many different things. What, how do they feel about you in their emotions? How do they feel specifically about you? Yeah, I told you. Power. The Empress. Very powerful card. 
card of abundance. They see you as a male or female. They see you as abundance. Uh, they want slow term, long growth with you. They could see going the long haul. I mean, it's it's all there, but it's silent. There's a moon here on this card. Oh, silent Bob or Jane. You know, and we saw that with the high priestess before the cut. The high priestess keeps the cards close to. I got a lot of cards here that are talking about keeping your cards close to the vest, staying quiet, keeping things hidden. I got the empress, a little bit of hidden energy here with that moon. I got holding back out of fear with the four of pentacles. I've got. Uh, the high priestess before the cut, which is, you know, high priestess does everything behind the scenes. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to win an Emmy for this. It'll be Emmy Award winning tarot reading when I'm done. I tell you, this is, this, uh, right here, the hidden energies. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. That's what the fear is about, Seven of Pentacles. This person dilly-dallying, sitting on the damn hands, and the universe has done had enough. Universe is like, F you. Uh, one cycle is ending, another's beginning. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, this is probably only for a few of you. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you have been taking my advice and the advice of, of other people out there and pulled some of your energy back. Or you did something that made it look like you were done, but you're not really done, kind of playing a game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, something, something caused a change here. Something caused... Uh, this person to, to be in freak out mode like I need to move now I need to move now and it's a lot more I mean yeah it's around the universe card here the world uh, one cycle ending another's beginning but but when I see that I read these two together these two are read together this is a standalone for those of you that are new right here when I see it with the seven of Pentacles and I read it together it, it, it's a it's a card of divine timing the seven of Pentacles this is a divine card Anything the world is with comes true. The world is a very the reason the world is the most powerful card in the tarot deck. And this is true to some extent for all major arcana cards, but for the world in particular, it's always true. Anything the world is with is what's happening or comes true. Right now, the world is with the uh, Seven of Pentacles. So when we clarify the world in a minute, those cards are going to have some significant meaning. Okay. Because the world makes things happen. It's, it's the finger snapper. It happens. It's happening. It's the it's happening card. Uh, this person, it, it, a lot of their fear is rooted in the fact that they sat on their hands and they dilly-dally too long. Uh, and someone who sees you as the empress, male or female, is, is incredible. What's the final outcome? This is red with all this, this fear, this holding on and, and holding back for pentacles. Yeah, see, there it is. It's right there. It's the sad horse, the five of cups. Uh, it, it's not that bad. It's a, it, it's, a, it's a card of loss. When I read it with the, with the four of pentacles here and I look at all the other cards around it, this is just regret. It's just real person. It, again, they dilly-dally. What you don't see is this person knows they sat on their hands too long. They, they screwed you around. Uh, I don't know how else to phrase it. It was too damn early in the morning. I can't come up with any catchphrases right now. This person regrets. They dilly-dallied around. We got the energy of the connection right now. Something is causing the world to be here. In other words, either a lot of you are taking my advice and the advice of some other readers and you pulled your energy back. Okay? Uh, you, again, we got... These are twin flame and, and deep soul connections that I'm reading, that I'm pulling in the energies of. They're always runner chaser always okay it, it, because they they have a repel of because i'll tell you why because okay because someone's going to write in and say why are they always run or chaser well very simply put it's uh, from an energetic perspective it's very simple it one person is awakened and one person isn't right that's always the case usually I mean, always, actually always, especially with the Twin Flame. It's part of the Twin Flame journey. One person is awake and the other isn't. Well, that's a difference in polarity. If one person's positive and one person's negative, what do positive and negative energies do? They repel. Don't get it mixed up with magnetism where, where opposites attract. Magnet, everything in the universe has a yin and a yang. Okay? Energy and magnetism are the yin and the yang. Okay, the, without, without magnetism, energy couldn't exist. Without energy, magnetism couldn't exist. But they're opposites 
in what they do. Without magnetism, nothing could exist because magnetism is what holds everything together, holds, the, holds matter together, holds the a uh, atoms together, everything. We just all fade into nothing, just dissipate like smoke without magnetism. But this isn't magnetism, this is energy and opposites repel. So you're on one side or the other. I, you're awakened, they're not. Positive, negative, repel. But the positive wants to go chasing. I mean, it's not an exact, you, you aren't a actually, you know, it's not going to keep repelling. The, the one, the positive wants to go chasing. So we call it a runner chaser. The, you're, you're repelling. And one person is interested, the other isn't, is essentially what it means. We could call it interested, not interested, but that's not as clever. Uh, so <laughs> it's not as catchy as run or chaser. Anyway, when you pull your energy back, uh, it causes them to come back in. And I think that's what's happening here. I think enough people have done it that it's causing the world to show up here. Anyway, what's this world card? Let's clarify it. I've got a lot of regret here. It's heavy. It's heavy in the energy. Your person knows they've screwed up. And we've been saying that a while, all readers have. And I've been saying it a long time. I'm sick of saying they know they screwed up. But they know they screwed up. I'm just telling you straight up. All right. What's this world about? Ten of Cups. Wow. <laughs> um, this person has figured out that you're their happiness. That's, that's quite clear. Uh, why is this Ten of Cups here? Ten of Swords. Oh, the end of a painful cycle. Mm -hmm. Also, for some of you, um, some again, we've been saying it. I'm just going to say it again. Some Something on your person's end has ended. Either a way of thinking, a relationship, or a job that was getting in the way. Something was getting in the way of this connection. And that's over. This person is moving toward happiness. The cycle is changing toward happiness. I said what, what, what the world is with happens. Both of these things happen. Your person's first, the first card to come out was the Ten of Cups. If we had these reversed, it'd be a different story I'd be telling you here. But it's not. Ten of Cups, first card to come out, happily ever after. That's happening. We ask, why is that happening? Because something, Ten of Swords. Ten Swords in the back of a bison. Because something happened on your person's end. They changed their way of thinking. They got a new perspective. They, they, they told that toxic asshole to get out. And take your dog with you. I mean, I don't know. Or they quit that job that was getting in the way and sucking up all their time. Whatever it is, that's your answer right there. We'll figure it out in the extended, but that's, that's your damn answer. That's what's going on. I think for most of you, it's a toxic relationship that ended on your person's end. I'll be honest with you. It, it, probably in combination with the fact that they have a new way of thinking now. Well, we don't see any reason why they have a new way of thinking yet. I don't have enough cards on the table. Right here is the uh, Four of Pentacles, but I can, this usually, ten of, ten of Cups next to Ten of Swords is nine times out of ten, some sort of toxic bullshit that's coming to an end. Yeah, lovers. Uh, they don't want to lose, they are well aware, your person is well aware of the connection you two have. They are well aware of it well aware of it with that card there um, it's a card of choice let's see what choice they're making ten of pentacles they're making long term decisions you're the long term decision this is all moving toward you the empress you're the long term even, even these geese are flying right at you get your shotgun out they're coming right for you right here there's dinner right there Ooh, dinner and Next week's lunch, mmm, tasty. All right, right there, Ten of Pentacles, long term. Whatever this was, they thought it was long term. I get that. Could have been a career, could have been a toxic relationship, whatever. And I suspect also if it was a way of thinking, it was a long term way of thinking, probably childhood core programming put in their heads by idiot parents, didn't know what they were doing. Right now, the Empress. Parents do it all the time, though. They want to tell their children they're special, right? We ruined a whole generation in this country by not by telling our kids they were all special, right? Y'all special. Everybody gets a trophy, right? Nobody loses. Everybody gets a trophy. Now what do we got? 
Well, we got a bunch of selfie generation is what we got. We got a bunch of people that think everything just just happens naturally. It, nobody wants to be a farmer anymore. Everybody wants to be an influencer or some shit. Can't do that. You can't you can't tell a small child they're special and that everything they do is great even if they suck at it. You can't do that. You're gonna raise a little entitled narcissist. That's what you're gonna do. And that's what we got now. Whole generation of narcissists. I'll tell you what. Not not you guys. You're here well enlightened enough to watch tarot readings, but you know, it's it is what it is. Uh I suspect your person has a little of that in them. I suspect they were led to believe they were quite special. All right, what's this empress? They see you as the empress. Jesus. Arguably, for me, the best card to get in a love tarot reading for how someone sees you. <sighs> Aside from maybe the king or queen of pentacles, but I prefer that. And the chariot. Uh, they want victory with you. They want to come towards you. And, they, and this uh, eclipse with the sun in front of the moon there, they got a lot they want to tell you. But you notice the word want, I'm saying a lot, right? But this is a card of forward movement. This is a good sign. It depends what it's clarified by, though. Yes, yeah, see? It's always a freaking catch. Tarot! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Four cups. There's that fear again. Fear is the only thing blocking this connection right now. Whatever toxic relationship they were in, they've either cut it loose or they're not giving to it anymore. Whatever way of thinking they had, they've cut it loose. It's gone. The only thing left is fear. We're really going to dig into this person's fears on that extended reading. I'm really going to go, I'm going to do a fear reading. I rarely do those, but we're going to do one. This person's afraid that you're just it, too much. Again, it, it's the next card out after that is the Seven of Pentacles. It's in, in the hidden energies. They're afraid that too much time has passed. They're afraid that you're just going to argue with them or fight with them. Or they're going to have too much explaining to do or whatever. Just fear, 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 every, fear, fear, everywhere, fear. It's just fear here, fear, fear and regret. God, get over yourself. Grow up here and just talk to the collective. They're all right. They're watching tarot readings. They probably want to hear from you. What the hell? Seven of Pentacles. Maybe some of you just want to hear from your person so you can reject them. Tell them to go screw themselves. I tell you what, I know that. I feel that in the energy. There's a few of you sitting out there. They're like, yeah, I hope they write in. I hope they text me. <laughs> tell them where they can go. <laughs> well, to each is, it, is or her own. I hear you, but I feel you. This person's frustrating. All this fear. Come on. It took them forever to ten of swords, whatever that is. Four of wands. I'll tell you what that is. For most of you, that was a long-term marriage. The ten of swords. Yeah, because I said it. You know, when I talk, the universe is trained to tell me if I'm right or wrong. I mean, we, we've been working together a long time, me and these cards. Yeah. Whatever this ten of swords is, because these cards are read together... Uh, it was a long-term thing. It was a long-term way of thinking. It was a marriage for most of you. Most of you, your person was in some kind of marriage, and it was shit. It, it was shit. I'll tell you what. Why is this four of wands here? It could, it, could, it could have been a job, too. Yeah, because it's over. Because whatever this four of wands is, is over. The eight of, eight of cups. See, I read the cards before they come out. That's why I talk to you guys. I talk and I say stuff and then I pull the cards and it verifies. It has more impact for you doing it that way. Any damn fool can pull a card and then tell you what it means. I tell you what it, I tell you what's coming out before it comes out. Damn. 8.30 in the morning even. That's what I'm impressed by. I'm not impressed I can do that. I've been doing shit like that my whole life. But I, I'm impressed I can do it 8.30 in the morning. Uh, five, so whatever... They walked away from something, and they walked away from it because of the happiness your connection brings them. And they're making a choice to uh, long-term decisions to come, and they feel your connection. They're aware of your connection, and they want victory. They want to come charging. But every time we get a card of this person moving forward, we get blocked. Right here, rat blocked with this four of cups, which is very similar in fear to this four of pentacles. The four of pentacles. It is a fear of losing you. The Four of uh, Cups is a fear of you rejecting them, which is a fear of losing you. I mean, it's the same damn fear. And right here, then the uh, final outcome is this person in regret because I'm not seeing any forward movement. I'm just seeing someone sitting in fear and then ending in regret. 
even though they know that you're their happiness and even though they do have they either know they need to end something on their side or they have ended it and walked away the cards would indicate and the energy would indicate they have already ended it and walked away or they're at the very least not giving to it anymore if they're still sitting in it and definitely want to walk away but for some of you they won't walk away for some they won't walk away until they get confirmation from you that it's a go for some of you for the rest of you that doesn't matter you're just the catalyst for it what's this five of cups what's all this damn regret yeah this is sitting on the hands again the son of panic uh, the knight of pentacles son of pentacles knight of pentacles it's tied to this energy here i knew it before it came out it's your person sitting on their damn hands doing nothing D doing nothing and what's it going to get them well let's see what the next card is shall we yeah ace of cups ace of cups is, a, is you may think wow that's great they're coming towards me with a cup of love no they ain't they're the knight of pentacles yeah they're coming towards you slow but so damn slow you won't even see them your person's just going to sit in the regret for a while sit in the thorns the ace of cups is beautiful it's a full big giant cup of love i mean it's a goblet of freaking love but it's got cellophane over the top sealed up tupperware I mean, it's just, it's going nowhere. You could shake it upside down and that shit's not coming out of there. They're not, it's a cup of love that hadn't been brought to you yet. It's on its way. That's good. We end the reading here, the main reading, with the cup of love, this big cup of love. This person loves you. Big cup of love on its way. But look what's, look what, it, it's, it's clarifying. It's clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, the slow ox you give your electric bill to and you end up sitting in the light, in, or in the dark, I should say, sorry. And that's clarifying the Five of Cups, regret. So we got regret, but I'm still sitting on my hands and moving real slow, even though I feel all this damn love. But I'm going to keep the cellophane on it. Hell, let me pull some universe cards here. Anything else the collective needs to know about this connection? universe probably going to get the run upright card right <laughs> run get the get get the fuck out of here get the, don't don't pay it no mind all right yeah uh, we start with the bottom of the deck this is actually moderately okay here uh, three of uh, cups this was a third party situation for a lot of you also it means your person wants union with you they've chosen because we, we know they're making a choice for the long term they've chosen you they're just sitting in fear right now. However, that is clarified by the Fool, which in turn is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, which is overlaid or crossed by the Tower. Like everyone else right now, your person is sitting in a tower, and that tower is fear at the moment. They know they want, they've chosen you. If it's a third party, they've chosen you. Either way, they've chosen you for all of you. They want union with you. They want to take a leap of faith. They're intimidated by you, though. Nine of Pentacles. They're afraid. We know it from here. They're afraid that you're going to reject them because too much time has passed, we see with the Seven of Pentacles here. They have ended. For most of you, they've ended something on their side. It's very clear here in the Hidden Energies. You probably don't know about it. They may even still be putting pictures of them and that person up, smiling and having a Big Mac together. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this person... I haven't seen a Queen of Wands, but this person is this person's energy is very worried about what other people think so they try to keep up appearances but right now they're sitting in a tower because of everything i just said and what they're doing is they're reminiscing back six of uh cups they're reminiscing back thinking back to everything they did wrong and unfortunately all that's doing i was just about to say it and i pulled the car i knew it i freaking knew it i'm just gonna say it again i freaking knew it five of pentacles all that's doing, all this reminiscing and thinking because they're in the tower because of all this fear, all that's doing is putting them further and further out in the cold because the fear is snowballing. That's what happens when you think about something too much. If you think about something too much, you find too many reasons not to do it. That's why overthinkers are the biggest pain in the asses in all of our lives. People that overthink everything. Overthink everything. Good Lord, just do it. Live your damn life. Make a decision. Use your intuition and go for it. This person is an overthinker. 
They're thinking, 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 causing a tower moment, tower moment, sitting in all this fear. The fear snowballs, and at the end of the road, the five of pentacles, they're still just out in the cold, even further than they were. Because of this slow-ass knight of pentacles and this big-ass ace, ace of cups that they haven't brought you yet. Haven't brought you. Still full. Let me think. Yeah. The good news, aside from that, the good news is I got the Ten of Cups clarifying the world. And I know from experience that happiness will come to this. I expect it's going it, it, to, I, I still think the Eclipse is the catalyst for it. I think the Eclipse is the wick hitting the dynamite on the 26th of May. I think June's a whole new world. The beginning of, for sure, the summer here in the north, the southern hemisphere winter. It's a whole new world we got this ten this ten of cups will happen you will this person will come out of this you will hear from them i feel it in the energy i don't see it in the cards but i feel it in the energy yeah. i'm not even gonna pull that card i'll do it anyway it's the uh, king of wands was the last card out on the plus side the king of wands does take action they do go after what they want on the downside, the King of Wands, not unlike the Queen of Wands, does wear a little bit of a mask of pretense. So be, if you're watching your person's social media, be careful about what you're seeing, because what you're seeing is probably a lie, especially if it involves them being happy, because I can tell you, with the Tower going on, and the Five of Pentacles, and the Five of cu uh, Cups, and the uh, Final Outcome, they ain't. There's no happy there. No happy, happy, happy. Not at all. All right, we're going to, uh, in the extended reading, I'm going to pull all this. I'm going to find out what, what happened on their side. What's this Ten of Swords and all this about? What, why did it happen is what I want to know. I'm not worried about what it was. I'm worried about why it happened. And I'm going to pull all this fear and, and figure out. We're going to find out also what actions this person's going to take towards you in the near future. Advice for you. And uh, if I think there's a couple of different timelines are, which I think there are, I'm going to pull a Schrodinger's cat reading. You can find out which timeline you're on, which universe you're in, who's, which person, because you're all not with the same person. You know, you're all with different people. You get to find out which universe you're in. It's a very science-y uh, card pull there at the end of the extended for sure. So there you go. All right. Well, if you want, if you want the extended... You want to find out what the hell is going on here, what universe you're in, uh, the link is in the description. I hope this reading was helpful to you. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all you subscribers. I truly do. And uh, we're going to see what's going on here. And again, this is for all signs. This is with the world right here. This is everyone. This is everyone. If this title pulled you in, you're, you're yep, it's for you. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to go pull that extended now. Links in the description. Good luck, collective.